so after so many um submission like i've submitted my cv in several places like over 100 and now i've just gotten uh, an interview one interview and i'm heading right now to the venue for the interview so i'll let you guys know how it goes and yes it's snowing seriously hi guys so as i was saying i have been submitting my cv like for since when i got my study permit although i can't work now but i was just submitting cvs to see if i'll get a response and then to tell them that i will be able to work from january and since was it november or october that i've been submitting cvs i haven't gotten any response i'll send cv and i won't get a response i was not thinking what am i doing wrong because my cv i don't know if it's well organized but to me it's organized i don't know if it's because of the cv or if it's because of where i live or if it's because i don't have a car mm -hmm. i just don't know but i wasn't getting any interview so a friend told me to apply to all the, like mcdonald's um 7-eleven uh, tim martins all those kind of shops costco yeah so i started putting in applications into all those places because before i was actually putting application for an accountant and because i'm going to be studying accounting here in canada so i wanted to get experience in the accounting role and that was why i was applying um, for an accounting job and i was actually applying for an entry-level job because i don't really have much experience well um 7-eleven i got interview to attend that was on monday but the timing wasn't good enough for me so i cancelled the lady that just passed by now she also came for an interview uh, anyways so i got this interview on monday and i moved it to today i was scheduled for today because uh, I didn't get anyone to come drop me here and it was snowing so I couldn't walk down to this place and today I made up my mind that I would come for the interview and see how it goes even though I don't get a job at least I know how the interview here works you know so fingers crossed I'm hoping I hello yeah. Okay, so I'm done with the interview and I know I did well, you know, <laughs> but I hope they call me. They're actually looking for someone that will work night shift and I said I am available to work night shift. So let's see how it goes. And the person that interviewed me is an Indian lady. So I hope that they collect me. <laughs> Anyways, fingers crossed and let's see how it goes. So I'm heading up right now. Wow, I would have just told down to wait. Like my my neighbor, he had to come and drop me here. And it just he left like 10 minutes ago. And if I had known that I would finish on time, I would have told him to wait. But now I would have to walk 27 minutes to the house. Yeah. Okay. So the lady just asked me some questions about where I've worked and I told her I, I haven't really worked in Canada and um, this is actually going to be my first time working but I have experiences in the position I'm applying to. I told her about my experience that I have in Nigeria and she was like okay well before me there was someone that was that had an interview with her an indian girl too so and they're just looking for one person anyways if i get it fine if i don't i'm still fine yeah i have like 27 minutes to walk home and i've just walked seven minutes so it left this like 20 minutes now I catch you guys later. 
I just even remembered that I told the interviewer that my classes are from 6 6 p.m. to 8 for 5 p.m. and it's a night shift. Wow. So <laughs> oh, you don't even consider me. Anyways, 